Hello everyone, I am your host Fanboy X. I finally got a chance to watch Justice League and I am going to give a review on it. Now note, the time that you're watching this is not the time I recorded. Has Flash screwed up the timeline again? No. I am home for spring break, so I don't have internet here. Um, so that's why I'm recording this, but I'm going to have to upload it later. Um, so what did I think of Justice League? Let's get past the salty YouTube comment sections, the it flopped at the box office, and whatever hullabaloo is going on over at Warner Brothers right now. Let's get down to the nitty gritty of the movie itself. I liked it. I gave it at least a 9 out of 10, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. I do say I kind of have a love-hate thing with this version of The Flash, with the movie's version of The Flash, but I don't entirely dislike it. It's a new take. I like it. Um, overall, I thought it was at least an enjoyable piece of entertainment. Um, is it as solid as Wonder Woman? Is it as solid as Man of Steel? Hmm... Not necessarily. That's going to be Wonder Woman was so good. It's going to be hard, really, to compete with it in any kind of way. Um. So in a nutshell, I love. I liked the movie. I liked it was mainly focused on them assembling each assembling. Um. As it should be. You know, they got. This movie got, there was a lot with the Justice League the movie got right. Some stuff, meh. Um, like I said, I give it a 9.5. I find it an enjoyable movie. Um, that was interesting how they brought Superman back from the dead. Spoiler alert. Um... Yeah, I thought they um, did do a pretty good job with it. Um, I like the environments. I like the visuals. I like the new Batmobile um, that's in it. I like how the Batman suit in this one appears to take a lot of inspiration from the Arkham video games. It's pretty cool. Um... That delving into, I will say this, the main villain of the movie is Stephen Wolf, who is from Apocalypse, who's the uncle of Darkseid, and in fact, Darkseid is in fact referenced. I would have kind of preferred him near the climax, you know, like big ushering in. Uh, Stephen Wolf was the main villain for this, trying to make way. You know what I mean? I would have had it, Stephen Wolf come in try to make way and then at the last minute boom dark side shows up tries, but it's not the route they went and that's okay they tried stefan wolf is kind of a c-list character in the comics and they tried to give him some more exposure and set things up for dark side in a future movie um to like that like like i said i give this movie a 9.5 out of 10 overall i enjoyed it like any movie, there were a couple of shortcomings, but no movie's going to be perfect, no matter how much we want it to. I'm looking at you, haters of The Last Jedi. Sorry. This has been your momentary roast. Um, yeah. I think it's a good movie. I think it's definitely one of the better ones that Warner Brothers... One of the one one of the better DC movies that Warner Brothers has put out recently. And it is definitely one that I will definitely revisit. That's my thoughts. My very brief thoughts, you know. Um, a couple additional thoughts. I thought Wonder Woman was well done. Um, like she was in the moot, like she was in her solo flick. I thought Cyborg was well done. They really captured the turmoil of him being more machine than man that he had in the comics. 
without it falling into whiny little whatever. Um, it was well done. So, if you haven't seen it yet, give it a watch. It is out on DVD now. And like I said, it is one I will revisit. That is my thoughts on the Justice League movie. This is Fanboy X signing off.